What's good slimes ace fragrance back with a fragrance related video. This is a bit of a weird one. Um, this will be the top three fragrances in my collection that will appeal most to hipsters or s people that are looking for more designer esque um, avant garde fragrances. Uh, honorable mention is Paco Rabanne One Million Cologne. This is a nice rose water petal with a hint of gummy bear scent. Um, I love this stuff. I think it's super relaxing and different smelling. Um, but yeah, the reason it's honourable mention, discontinued, you can only get on eBay. Um, number three, there's no order to this. Um, we got Golan from EDL. The EDP version, the best way to describe this is cherry, almond and leather. Very odd notes, but they work together wonderful. Perfect all season, all occasion. You will struggle a bit on summer with this. But trust me, no, you wear this, um, women will love it. It's a cherry note. If you don't like cherry, you will not like this. It's quite sweet in that aspect. And um, the, the leather makes it a bit smooth. Then we have Florientel by Comme des Garçons. This is one of the most hipster related scents I have in my collection. It's plum, sandalwood, like the essence of incense that are burning. Very unique smelling, long lasting. Um, yeah, this is just hipster in a bottle. Um, and the bottle design is very hipsterish too. I try, I leave it on top of here, my Hugo Boss, um, because having this in your collection is very difficult. Then we have Bulgari's Manterra Essence. That is Ter de Hermes meets your Fahrenheit, a citron vetiver earthy scent with a blast of kind of petrol fuel. Very different, very unique smelling. Um, and I'm sure it will appeal to all of the hipsters out there in the world. Uh, all of these are quite long lasting scents as well, because I know hipsters don't bathe. Um, I don't know where that came from. I guess I am. Yeah, that's been Ace Fragrance, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.